Hi guys, just starting with a uh, tip of the week uh, through the DIR. Here's a case where we're looking to replace this lady's uh, mandibular teeth uh, with a fixed frame work, uh, most likely a hybrid uh, prosthesis. And uh, she's come back after uh, being away, uh, she's a country patient, been away for several months, and she's presented with um, a healing cap that's missing. And as you can see, um, this implant has lost a little bit of bone around it. So one of the tips of the week was that you would, uh, particularly when you're seeing patients that have potential to be away for a long time between you know, surgery and then the prosthetic phase, it's a good idea to make sure that when you're installing your healing uh, abutments or healing caps, um, that you talk them down um, so they're pretty tight. So that all depends on the different system that you're using. Uh, some systems have uh, max insertion torques of you know, 15, 20 million centimeters, others have 30 to 40. Um, but uh, I would recommend um, using a torque wrench and taking it to um, a re at least its minimum restorative uh, insertion torque and ensure that those healing caps don't become loose. Um, I'm going to have to go in and clean this out and uh, there's potential for me to have to graft this implant now. So it's quite frustrating when you try to line up your implants, get uh, everything right for the patient and they uh, present with um, you know, a small uh, lesion like that. The um, implant will be torque tested uh, as with all other uh, implants and eventually we'll take those two uh, other teeth out and um, get her prosthesis back in. Um, lovely lady and uh, we'll hope we get a great result for her. Uh, so that's the tip of the week and um, if you have any comments uh, leave them below. Thanks very much. Have a great weekend. Bye.